I've got a lot of boxes to go through yet from my trip out west. I think tonight I'm going to start on a box from Omaha. Haven't done anything from there yet. After I finish the box and see what I've got, I think I'll go ahead and do those 10 pounds that I also, I mean, uh, $10 worth uh, that I picked up in one of the bank branches there in while I was in Omaha. And I will see what we find. Hopefully we'll get, you know, maybe four pounds is what I'd love to get. Let's get started. Well, sadly, I don't see any wheat penny enders. I always like to start with one or two of those, but there's a lot of uh, darker stuff. Hopefully a lot of, a lot of copper there, I hope. First roll, got 11 coppers, one 2009 and one 82. That's a pretty good start. After 10 rolls, I have no wheat pennies yet. I do have a 73S that I put aside and two really nice old coppers, a 62D and a 59D that are just really in good condition and four 2009s and a little bit of copper. So that's where we're at after 10 rolls. Two of the wheat pennies that I picked up in my Kansas City box uh, go into my coin books. That's really fun. A 1949S into this book. And down in this book, a 1912D. Very nice. I've added several to these books in the last couple months. And it won't be long till I'll have them full. Well, that one, not this one. <laughs> a long way to go. I'm in my 13th roll and still no wheat penny yet, but I did get a Canadian copper. It's one of the 12 sided, 1983. It's something. I'd like to find a wheat penny. I am in my 18th roll and there is wheat penny number one. I was beginning to wonder. A 1958D. This was the last wheat penny they ever made. This one right here. I'm getting quite a few of the uh, 2009s. I got a couple more S's too. Let's weigh that guy. Zinc. I think that's a 70, but we'll weigh it and make sure it's copper. It is. I don't have a lot of 82s yet. Handful, I guess. I'm in my 20th roll, and here is my second Canadian, but it's a 98, so it is not copper. It'll just go in my general clad Canadian coin bag. <laughs> They must collect a lot of wheat pennies there in Omaha, Nebraska. I'm sure not finding them. I've weighed a bunch of 83s. I just don't weigh them all. I'm probably passing up the one I shouldn't. I found a, another S. I'm finding more than I used to. Man, when I was a kid, and I was trying to fill my penny books, golly. It seemed like I could never find a 69S. It just, that was my spot forever that I couldn't fill. But I'm finding quite a bit of, a lot more S's now than I used to, surprisingly. I'm in my 25th row, almost at the end, so I'm halfway through the box. And I have found Wheat Penny, number two. Number two. Is that 48? No. Wow. 
By the way, I weighed the copper, not counting the 82s, after half the box, and I'm just under one and a half pounds, so if I keep this up, added to the 82s to it, I might be three pounds. We'll see. I hope I get three. Yay, there's Canadian copper number two, 1969. It's young Elizabeth. Cool. Me and my wife like to get out in the evenings when it's halfway cool. We got a little fire pit we bought that we just we just love sitting and watching the fire, poking at it a little bit. My wife will pet the cat. It's an outdoor cat that we had adopted. He just showed up a few months ago. And I picked up a we we just gather up wood. We got a little woods behind us and we find Oh, what's that? 1934. That's a wheat penny. Cool. That's a pretty good one. There's number three. 1934. Nice. Anyway, we gather wood up from the woods. and If a tree well, a limb falls out of my mom's tree, I'll bring it home and cut it up. <clears throat> we keep wood out there. For just such occasions, and uh, I had one pretty good size log that was laying on the ground. I should have cut it into three pieces, and I just threw it on the fire. But it was just covered in ants, and they got all over me. And I was knocking them all off while I was sitting out there watching the fire. And now I'm inside, and I don't know if I have actual ants on me or phantom ants, but I feel ants. I just keep feeling them. <laughs> Well, about 11 rolls to go, and there is Wheat Penny number four. <clears throat> A little bit beat up. 1957D. Cool. Seven years. There's a copper. I'm still fighting these phantom ants. Let's weigh it. It's always 2.5. Oh, I got a couple more of the coppers that are just in really, really nice condition. I need to get those set aside. I just popped open a row, and the third coin I could see right away I had a wheat penny. It's an 82. What is that, number five? Yeah, number five. 57D. I think that's my second one of those. That's five. That's not too awful terrible. I've got a song by the Almond Brothers stuck in my head. I just keep singing it over and over. Uh, the Whipping Post. Been tied to the Whipping Post. I need to just play it, then I can move on and get something else stuck in my head. I think after this roll, I'll just turn it on and play it. Well, let's get some copper or something here. Let's weigh that one. I've weighed so many of them. Yeah. Four rows to go, and there is Wheat Penny number six, 1944. It's a Philadelphia. 
we turn it over because we like the looks of the back. <laughs> Number six. I just listened to Whippin' Post. Boy, I like their music. That's a good old song. Okay, we'll weigh another one. Why do we bother? The song that came on YouTube right after that one went off was A Promised Land by Elvis. Uh, I guess that one in Kentucky Rain is probably my favorite too by Elvis. Well folks, I'm completely through that box. I've weighed my 82s, added the copper ones over here to the copper. I'm right at 3 pounds. So, that's respectable. You know, I'm not going to complain. That's what I get here at home. Usually I get a few more wheat pennies. I only got six wheat pennies. A couple of Canadian coppers. But I got a couple of super, super nice uh, copper, older copper coins that uh, I'll keep put away because they're real nice. A few S's. Quite a few. About, man, almost a dozen of those 09s. I'm going to pull out that $10 worth right there. And get through those and see if we find a little bit more maybe a couple more wheaties and add this more uh copper to this and add it to my box of copper back there looks like a few of these might be customer rolled i'll go through those first and then i'll go through the sealed ones uh last this is my sixth row sixth row of that uh, ten dollars worth that i'm going through no wheat pennies yet i've been getting some pretty decent copper but here is a 19 76 Canadian copper. That's nice. I've said it before, but those are 98% copper. Oh, look at that. There's my first wheat out of all these. Cool beans. 1952D. Nice. Like I was saying, the Canadian copper pennies are 98% copper, whereas ours in the USA is 95% copper. Pretty good copper in these rows so far. I thought it was an S. This is the last customer road, and then I'll get into the sealed, and here is another wheat penny. Very cool. Uh, 50, 55, yep. 55 Philadelphia. That's eight wheat, wheat pennies anyway. Cool. Eighty-six. <laughs> I thought it said thirty-six there for a second. Oh, nineteen seventy S. If I find that sixty-nine S, I'll go back to nine. And give it to myself and I'll be so happy with me. I'm not going to weigh that one. Pretty good copper. Then I found one of these, I think the last row or the row before. Big old stack of those tonight. Gonna weigh it. I know I probably should. This is, I believe, the first sealed row out of that bag. 
And here's a wheat penny, a, kind of a dirty one, but look at this. That's a lot of copper in that roll. Fifty one D. I hope that the next box that I have left over there from Omaha is from the same branch that I got this bag from. I just don't remember. There's good copper in here. I've got five rolls to go, and look, I just got one of those rolls. Ugh. They're all 2023s. And, oh, congratulate me. I managed to get them out of the roll and stand them up, get them off the bottom of my finger without knocking them over. I didn't restock them. They're actually, actually managed to do that. But now I've got to go through all of those and look for the VDB and see if there's an extra. In like in a two or three minute time, be disappointed 50 times. But that's what I'm going to do after I go through these other five rows. Look, I had a wheat penny ender and didn't even know it. The last, the last coin of the roll was a wheat penny. What have we got? 1949 looks, I think it's a 49. Don't want to scratch it up too much. Yep, 49 Philadelphia. Cool. Four rolls to go. I finished going through all the pennies. I haven't weighed the 82s yet. I just wanted to tell you that roll back there. I grabbed some of them here. These are 2022 D's. I looked up 2022 D's. I've already broken the seal. And there's nothing too awful special about them. They're a little bit neat. But I'm going to go ahead and stick those in the box and send them back to the bank. And I'll get the 82s weighed and see how much... Um, how many, how many pounds of copper we got? We are adding four pounds and five ounces of copper to my already existing copper box back there. And uh, got a little stack of wheat pennies, a few Canadian, some S's. These are just the really, really nice condition. One set up, I think I've got almost two rolls of them now. Pretty good stack of 09s couple of those gnarly ones that I'll add and eventually roll up another roll of those. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Oh, I wanted to show you. I told you that I make fires with me and my wife. Tomorrow night I'll grab a big handful of those out of there and take them out. And that's what I use to start my next fire with.